Okay, everybody, I can appreciate a smooth print like everybody else, guys, with the helmets, with the props. But, guys, sometimes we just need that battle damage helmet, guys. Oof, look at that battle damage, the wires, the back, the tops, the everything that gash across the eye, guys. Yes, I can wear this. Yes, this is amazing, guys. And, yes, this is a must print, guys. I'm going to show you all how I made it, guys. I'm just going to show you how I paint, what paints I use, how I battle damage it, how I put some of this scuff on it and all guys use the chapters down in the description below if you want a certain part to the build guys without further ado let's get into it one of the most important things of any project guys especially with 3d printing is your files now i don't know where you get your files from thingiverse or old man across the street uh black market instagram all of that guys but i'm getting mine from levy 3d on instagram right here guys this is a free mark 85 files and as y'all see this is amazing this is amazing file guys this is not the helmet i will be going with the suit i'm gonna use the wash uh 3ds one but this is a great free seo file for a mark 45 for a mark 85 helmet guys i will not show you how to sand or prime it guys that is very simple you can look on any tutorial ever but if you want to know this video right here it covers a to z all the way to the end guys in perfect condition or you can click one of these two prompts up here and it will guide you to it I will show you all how I painted for this helmet how I did the battle damage and whatnot and then the magnetized route which I personally did guys so without further ado let's jump into it probably the second most important part of any prop especially cosplay is making it comfy guys now this um, again, no memorization, so I can easily put some foam in here, make it just a little tighter, make it a little snuggier, but I'm not going to do that. I just went with the magnetized route. Now, I went with a magnet and Velcro system, guys, with the jaw as as shown right here, guys. There's a little bit of Velcro on the top, and then there's a magnet right there. The magnet holds it better in place, and then the Velcro just um, steadies and holds it up and locks it like that. So it's very simple, very easy. When I move my jaw, it moves just a little bit, but not too much where it's going to fall off. And then the magnet parts right here, I just clip them on right here, and then A just clicks on right. Hold on. Right there, boom. And I get the helmet on, and I can just move it however I want. And it just gives it a little bit of wiggle room so it's not stuck there. If it gets stuck, as y'all saw, it just gives a little wiggle room. I just move it real quick, and boom, we're back out. And it makes uh, it makes it a lot better so it doesn't get stuck with it. Um, the way I went with it is there's two ways you can go. I want this nylon route, which you can get on Amazon. You can get um, nylon. And an elastic one, this is non-stretchy, so it just goes straight like that, just like on a backpack. Or you can use rafts. You can use a raft from one of your prints. It's just a long, flat one. Cut it out, put the magnets in, and then do as so, guys. And on the screen, it can show all the stuff that I use to make this prop or use the connections. After that is the battle damage, guys. Now, all these pictures and images on screen are everything that I used to make the helmet to make my design and how i wanted it to do as y'all see there's something from frankly built right here there's like a avengers 8 from the deadpool movie there's this there's this where is it right here there's, there's like this melted armored metallic uh, metal piece from some of these power ranger helmets right here guys i wanted to make it my own with still giving it some of my signature things like how i always take a slash out of the face slash out of the jaw right here guys of it i don't want to make a carbon copy i wanted to make my own little design out of it guys so right after i primed it and i smoothed it down to perfection that's all i did guys i just put it in here and i just got my soldering iron and i just put it on the very low maybe like 250 and i just started moving and started making it wave i know this is nanotech but still like it's as y'all saw in the movies it was moving it was melting it was shattering so i kind of just moved it back and forth back and forth and then i just took some random spots here i just did it on the back i just put maybe like a bullet hole here that it just shoved off put some bullet holes in the top guys if you're like oh maybe it'll regenerate remember in infinity war but all of that as y'all see right here now i forgot to paint this part the chrome metal at first uh the gun metal so i just went in after it honestly i think it went pretty good i went pretty good right here of just taking just a paintbrush putting in the spray can and just putting it right there it feels like it gives it a little bit more rusted a little bit more worn look on it as y'all see for the face mask guys 
I kind of went from the helmet with melting, 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 took out this whole entire face piece, and then melted it just a little bit more. Did a little bit of crack right here on the sides, guys. And there's a little bit of a couple blemishes. Nothing too crazy. I didn't want it too crazy, just a little bit there. And then on the jaw as well, I just got the soldering iron, and boom, as y'all see here, just a couple nicks. I messed up the taping piece right here because I forgot to take. You're off a twenty percent. You're a twenty percent. Right cover this gold part off, but it worked perfectly because then I put this um, the gunmetal right here, the little silver gunmetal, and then it just made it look like it just got chipped there, and then on the sides as well, just a little bit of here, nothing too crazy. It's whatever you want to do basically. If you want to make it stronger, if you want to do more battle damage, less battle damage, or whatever, guys. This is your personal preference. There's nothing wrong with it if it looks bad it's probably good you know because it is battle damage it's not supposed to look nice like let's say this red hood helmet that's smooth imperfections might be like the spider-man helmet or this iron man helmet where you want to make it battle damage and if it gets a scratch across the face hey there's a scratch right guys so there's that now one thing i haven't done is i probably could have done earlier is put some dirt on this what you want what you could do is get some dirt outside and just like rub it over just a little bit put it in the cracks if y'all know my captain america helmet that i did i put some dirt and i just put it in some melted parts i just put it around just to make it a little bit more as y'all see it's shiny but if i just get like a quick wash a quick dry coat of some dirt or a black wash and make it a little darker make it look a little bit better for the damage like it has been in some troubles so without that after you do that now let's get to the painting and how I did the painting right now so I want I was looking on TikTok and I saw this guy right here and he was doing a live he and the way I saw his base shield what looked cool now it was de definitely different than this gold and I didn't have the paints and I also honestly forgot that I needed the paints I was like oh gloss black but you need a you need a matte black you need like a 2k gold or 2k clear then a gold then a chrome then like something else guys so I tried to do it I completely forgot but it still came out great as y'all see guys it was just a regular um, gloss of black put the metallic gold put the clear coat boom just like that and then same with that just add the red and then add the clear coat on top of that guys these are all the spray cans I used right here and then from these videos and these shorts guys as y'all see of the helmet and the face mask and all of that guys just being there the most important thing guys even if you're doing something like this face like the battle damage guys is taking your times on the print make sure they're not orange peeling make sure if you're masking let it dry let it dry for an hour let it dry for a day because what else you're gonna do right uh, just let it dry take your time there's no rush to be like oh hey let's do it by then let's do it by then unless you're trying to do a competition or whatever but still take your time it is worth saving the time than having to spend more money and redoing it or having to sand down all the paint when you're on the clear coat let's say you're on the clear coat right you, you have runs now you have to sand the whole thing back down and then reapply the black, reapply the gold, reapply the red, and having to wait those extra hours to a day, guys. So take your time when doing it, guys. As y'all saw, first it was a uh, gloss black, then I did the gold, then I did the red, and then I did the clear coat as well, guys. Afterwards, just like I said, I got a paintbrush. I just got a simple paintbrush, and I just got, I had a duplicate color chrome, guys, and I just did it in here. I, as y'all see, I just did it there, and then I went back with the gun metal that goes to these parts, and I just went some others. I just did it again with just lighter. I just put some in there, as y'all see, guys, just to make it a little bit darker so it doesn't look as clean as a cut, just so it looks like a little bit weather, just so it looks a little bit more realistic, guys. Again, you can always put dirt, you can always put whatever else. And then as y'all see guys, just taking some inspiration from the others, I just put some burn marks in there from the top. This was actually not intentional, I think I just placed it wrong or I hit something with it guys, but hey, battle damage, right? On the sides, I just put some random markings right here and all around, see this back part right here and this, how it just goes off guys. Same thing, I just got the chrome, I just got the gun metal, and I just put it in there just like that. So that's how I did that. So these are LED lights. You can get them on eBay for a couple bucks, two, three, four, five dollars. 
um, very cheap, very easy. These are flexible, guys. So as you see, they can move, they can melt. So you don't have to use those stiff, hard ones. They can actually move and stuff. Now, I put these in the helmet just for just for the video's sake. I'm actually using these for a different helmet, but I think it was just, I think it was just cool on here. You could always use maybe cut them up because the way the lights work is if the light beams in through here. It beams it through this light and it comes here and these gray metallic pieces on top is what bounces the light back and forth and then that's how it gets it so if you have that but maybe you just cut out a little bit of pieces like frankly built right here how he cut his out now i think i don't know if he did a coating or something for having that flickering there or what you can go check his video out again but that that's how you could do it you could cut it out just a little bit put a blue one in put a white one put whatever you want in and just have it just like that guys put it very simple very easy and then you just melt it in you can melt the wires in the helmet so it's more flush you can tape it you can mask it you can do whatever you want and have it just like that guys and without further ado guys this is amazing just look at that guys one more time guys i might go back later put a wash over it put some dirt in it guys just or maybe on top just to make it a little bit more worn because it is kind of shiny it is kind of shiny i do know that and some of the pieces right here i know they look orange i know it's not like this red right here uh, of the red hood just because i ran out of the i ran out of the metal cast red guys but because uh, it'll definitely have been more red but as y'all see guys, it does look great. A little too shiny for my liking for battle damage. So I definitely will do something later after guys. But it's whatever y'all want. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that guys, put them down in the comments below. If you will make this or anything guys, tag me on uh, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, all of that guys. Or if you have an amazing build y'all want to show, join the Discord right here guys down in the description below. We do gaming, we do 3D printing, and all that fun stuff, guys. So without further ado, I'm Nico Builds. This is the Mark 85 Damage Helmet. Let's get it.